short but sweet. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for yet another top 10 epic cameos in film. Thank you, Chuck Norris. Thank you, Peter. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at a few more cameos that left audiences giggling with delight. They can be portraying a character or themselves, so long as their performance is a cameo and not a supporting role. Did it work? Tom Cruise in Tropic Thunder and Will Ferrell in Wedding Crashers fall in the ladder. Ma, the meatloaf! Also, be sure to check out our other lists of epic cameos. It's gotta always be on my toes, man. Oh, you know? I, I see that, but not with me. This is why I don't go out of the house. I thought everybody loved you. Number 10, Billy Idol, The Wedding Singer. Fancy cars, CD players, even women are possessions to him. Yeah. See, Billy Idol gets it. I don't know why she doesn't get it. Adam Sandler's Robbie Hart is the charming frontman of a flailing rock band who works as a wedding singer while waiting for his moment to shine. During one of his gigs, he meets a waitress named Julia who is engaged to an obnoxious serial cheater. Love blooms, prompting Robbie to passionately confess his love to Julia on a plane before she ruins her life. I'll miss you. Thankfully, her fiancé is kept at bay by another passenger, who also happens to have awesome hair. Billy Idol's short cameo comes totally out of the blue, and is worth the price of admission alone. How you doing, sir? Chicken or fish? You better get out of my way, Billy. You're gonna get hurt. Oh, yeah? Don't you talk to Billy Idol that way! Number 9. Robert Patrick, Wayne's World Terminator 2 Judgment Day took the world by storm in 1991, prompting Robert Patrick to revive the character for a brief cameo in Mike Myers' Wayne's World. Dressed up in his now iconic beat cop uniform, the T-1000 pulls over Wayne to ask whether he recently saw John Connor running around. Have you seen this boy? Ah! Myers reacts exactly how anyone would in this situation. He screams and hightails it out of there. By the way, the T-1000 was actually meant to be portrayed by Billy Idol before he was ruled out due to an unfortunate motorcycle accident. Number 8. Danny McBride, Observe and Report Get your hands off him! What? You heard me? That's my son, motherfucker. What, this little guy right here? This is my motherfucking seed right here! Considering they created comedy gold with Eastbound and Down, it's no surprise that Danny McBride appeared on Joni Hill's Observe and Report. Seth Rogen's Ronnie is an arrogant mall cop driven by a desire for justice who apprehends a prepubescent drug peddler during his free time. Unfortunately, the child's crackhead father shows up with his goons and sticks a gun in Ronnie's face area. Luckily for the mall cop, the gang has a few screws loose. Sticking to what he is known for, McBride delivers a funny and foul-mouthed performance. You know what I should do? Should make you suck this gun like a dick. And when it comes, it's gonna blow your brains all over the street. Number 7. Hugh Jackman, X-Men First Class An X-Men movie apparently cannot be produced without an appearance from Wolverine, no matter how short it may be. Since the launch of the first movie, Hugh Jackman has made nine physical appearances as Logan. Ten if you count Deadpool. And this one in case the other fell off. While X-Men Apocalypse went for an extended and violent action sequence, Wolverine's best cameo lasted less than half a minute and features no claws whatsoever. During X-Men First Class, Xavier and Magneto are looking for able mutants to join their cause, which leads them to a dingy bar in the middle of nowhere. Sadly, it was a wasted journey. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Tell Xavier. Go f*** yourself. Number 6. Christopher Lloyd, A Million Ways to Die in the West Hello? Say what you want about Seth MacFarlane's cinematic career, the dude knows how to write cameos. Despite being the director's worst-reviewed movie to date, A Million Ways to Die in the West features a few hilarious moments, including an out-of-the-blue cameo by Doc Brown himself. MacFarlane's Albert Stark randomly discovers Christopher Lloyd in a barn as the scientist tries to kickstart the DeLorean. What's that? Nothing. I mean, it's a weather experiment. Oh. Right, Scott! Considering Back to the Future 3 takes place in the West, this cameo actually makes a lot of sense. Number 5, Everyone, Muppets Most Wanted. Let's give it a go. With Hollywood stars. And long one line of cameo. From the days of Steve Martin and Richard Pryor, the Muppets have turned celebrity cameos into an art form. Their 2014 outing boasts over 20 famous faces, ensuring that every single viewer will recognize at least a few of them. Picking the best of the bunch is practically impossible, as nearly all of them deliver the goods. Who did not laugh when Christoph Waltz showed up to literally do the waltz? You set my world on fire! Or Tom Hiddleston hamming it up as the great escapo for the Prisoner Talent Show. Honestly, the entire movie is one big cameo. Number 4. Eminem and Ray Romano, Funny People I don't think you should have took that medicine. Why not? 
I don't know, personally, I think you should have just let yourself die. Two for the price of one. Funny People centers on Adam Sandler as a struggling comedian who suddenly contracts a fatal disease and has to revalue his entire life. As with most of Judd Apatow's work, Funny People blends hilarious hijinks with many heartfelt moments, including the awesome scene featuring Eminem and Ray Romano. Ray Romano's bothering you? Who? Ray, Ray who? Ray Romano, the guy from Everybody Loves Raymond? After the rapper gives Sandler a pep talk about his celebrity lifestyle, Eminem loses it after realizing that the Everybody Loves Raymond comedian is staring at him. Apparently, everybody does not include Eminem. What show he's on? I'll f this motherfucker up, man. Hey. hey, Ray! Hello, Marshall. F***ing problem here, buddy? W would you like to f*** me? Is that what this is? I'll get it, man. What's going on? Number three, Martin Sheen, Hot Shots Part 2. At Fine. first, I thought they'd handed me the wrong dossier. I couldn't believe they wanted this man dead. Third generation West Point, top of his class, Korea, airborne. About a thousand decorations, etc. The Hot Shot sequel parodies many serious war films, so obviously they had to include a reference to Francis Ford Coppola's 1979 epic. A badass retired Navy soldier who found inner peace after discovering Buddhism, Charlie Sheen's topper Harley is pulled back in for one final mission. While Ramboing his way through Iraq, he comes across Martin Sheen's character from Apocalypse Now, who might have taken the wrong turn on his way to Vietnam. As the father and son cross paths, they share a few words of encouragement. I love you in Wall Street! Number two, Ozzy Osbourne, Little Nicky. What's that? What's with the ball? <laughs> Ozzy? Holy shit. <sighs> Deus Ex Machina, Black Sabbath style. As the son of Satan, the kind and sweet Little Nicky is a bitter disappointment. Sandler's demon is on a quest to prevent his brothers from plunging the world into a never-ending darkness, although he does need a little bit of help to get the job done. After smashing a mysterious orb given to him by his angelic mother, the Prince of Darkness shows up to bite out Nikki's brother. Metal fans have known this for decades, but Ozzy is a gift from God. You can do it, Ozzy! Bite his freaking head off! No! <laughs> Number one, Michael Sarah. This is the end. Jesus! Hey, Jay. Hey, you need to use the toilet, honey? Go ahead. George Michael Bluth would lose his mind if he met this version of Michael Sarah. Starring Seth Rogen, James Franco, and Jonah Hill as themselves, This Is The End asks how celebrity would react to an end of day scenario. While the main actors mostly play it straight, Sarah is allowed to run wild for his brief cameo. The Arrested Development actor drops his typical goody two-shoes persona as he gets high as a kite, engages in a threesome, and harasses Rihanna. Also, This Is The End shows Channing Tatum in a gimp suit. You have to see it to believe it. This is my gimp! Channing, introduce yourself. Hey, what's up, man? Y'all cool? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.